morning guys this is Samaya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we are going to learn how to import the 3d models that is dot 3ds files to dialogs with accurate dimensions so before starting the tutorial i would like to thank all the viewers and subscribers of my channel we have crossed 900 subscribers and uh, I thank you all for encouraging me and appreciating my work. It really inspires me to make more tutorials on Dialogs Evo and lighting design. One thing I want to include in my tutorials from now on is that I'll be including one pro tip or one fact about lighting design or the Dialogs Evo which will be like a add-on to the tutorials. So this pro tip or a fact maybe at the beginning of the video or in the middle or at the ending so for that watch the video till the end so that you don't miss out any important information okay let's get started previously i made a tutorial on how to import 3d models from sketchup to dialogues evo and after that i received a lot of questions about the dimensions of the 3d models because when you import the 3d model from sketchup to dialogues the scaling is quite very large so now we are going to fix it okay so let's get started here i have considered a simple uh, room so this is basically our dining room i have a small foyer here and this is my dining so in the dining on one side of the wall I have a wall decor I have placed some carpet with some pendant lights here other than that there is no other 3d model here so I'll be needing one wall partition here and a dining table here so let's go and check out some 3d models and if you are new to the tutorial and if you are wondering how we are going to find 3d models so this is a website wherein we get a free 3d models it is 3dwarehouse.sketchup.com um, basically these models are for sketchup and we will be converting the sketchup models into dot 3ds files which can be imported into the dialogues right so let's go and check first for wall partition once you type the keyword in the search box these are the results available so there will be products models collections and catalogs so we'll be going in models so under model section here you have a file size so in the dialogues we are going to import anything which is less than 1 mb because our software will hang if you are putting too many 3d models with high mb and high polygons so here in the scale we are going to reduce it we'll make it 2 mb so here i have a nice wall partition i will open it new tab it's of 1 mb and 1372 polygons which is a good so let's download download it in the lowest version available like here it's 2017 model download the lowest version so we have downloaded our sketchup model we are going to open it zoom extends this is the tool to rotate it so i have two wall partition one is slightly larger in scale than the other and whichever is not important to you you can select and delete like i don't want this map delete i don't want this partition delete i think only this will work for me zoom all now once this is done select the object file export 3d model desktop make it as partition one okay so here we have not changed any thing with the dimensions or scaling i just want to show you how it happens when the scaling is large so file import furniture file partition one go to the 3d model zoom all this is how it happens when you generally import the sketchup models from sketchup 
two dialogs you like if you select the model and you check the dimensions it's it's too high it's 185 meters 16 meters and 281 meters so this is not this is not accurate to fix this you need to do scaling like this do scaling like this or do it manually which is a lengthy procedure so what we are going to do is the simple way go back to your sketchup model go to window model info here you have under model info to the bottom units select the units the format is decimal here you can see the length area volume everything is in centimeters so in the dialogs by default our units are in meters so we are going to change this to meters meter square meter cube display precision you can keep it to 0 or 0, 0.0 as per your thing once this is done control s and save it close the window now we have not done any changes to the model but we have changed the units now let's export it again desktop now we'll save it in the name of partition 2 enter okay let's go and import our 3ds file file import furniture file partition 2 and that's it now you can see the size 1.85 meters 0.163 meters 2.8 meters we'll rotate it and you can see the 3d model perfectly fixed no need to further scaling now this is perfect right so let's go and check other 3d models as well like we need to import here a dining table for that one go back again to your 3d warehouse type your keyword dining and here you get different 3d models of the dining table so i have selected nearly four different dining table sets and now it's a time for a pro tip so I have shortlisted four different dining tables. So each has different file size and polygons. And all four models are nice, which goes well with the interiors I have. So now the pro tip is how to make the best selection of the 3D models so that your model is also good and it doesn't consume more of your calculation time and the render is good so the first thing you need to see in the 3d model is the file size okay so if the file size is too big it's not advisable to import it in the dialogs evo because your dialogs file may hang or maybe even your dialogs gets automatically closed so first thing file size so this is 3 mb this is 2 MB, 11 MB and this is 9 MB. So the these two models are less in size compared to these two. So this is 9 and 11 MB probably because uh, it has too many things on the table like it has was some snacks and all those stuff. That's the reason it is 11 MB. I think if it is only table and the chairs it will come down to 5 or 4 MB um so first thing file size for file size 9 mb and 11 mb not advisable so we'll not select this two now the left one is file size with 2 mb and file size 3 mb okay so generally when i said choose the file with the less file size you may be going with this file size because it's 2 mb 1 mb less than this one but don't forget to look 
add the polygon size as well. So if you see the polygons here, it is 34,808. Whereas here it is 75,844. So this has polygons double the polygons we have here. So maybe because it have a nice curve shape shares. So, so I will be considering this 3D model though it has 1 MB more file size but it has less polygons right so this is your pro tip so download and download to the lowest sketchup model available so here i have sketchup 2014 i'm going to download it so once your 3d model is downloaded you open it delete the parts you don't want like this is totally in one group right click explode you can ex you can delete whatever the parts you don't require so I think this is fine with the walls and everything. Zoom extends to check if there is any other objects available. So this looks quite perfect. Go to Windows, Model Info. This is in millimeters. We'll convert it into meters. Save the file. file export 3d model desktop go to the dialogs file import furniture file import your 3d model place it properly rotate it So we have imported our 3D model. Let's go and check the textures. So this is painted but it has high reflective coating. We'll decrease the reflective coating. Replace the material. So all the parts have reflective coating. We are going to reduce and give some proper textures. So we have finished importing our 3D models. We have even uh, fixed some of the textures which were not accurate. Now just to cross check, we'll run the calculation and export and get one render view. So calculations, run entire project. So our calculation is completed and you can see check out the results looks perfect let's render one view Set the proper perspective and render it. Start ray tracing. So we have finished rendering our project. This is a final view. So this is a final render which is perfect. So this is it guys. This is how you make a changes in the SketchUp model. So you have a accurate dimension of the 3d models when you import it from the sketchup to the dialogues hope you found this video helpful and hope you found the new idea of the pro tip if you did please like this video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned to explore more in dialogues with me thank you